So let's compute this firm surplus uh, <coughs> once we are in equilibrium, of course. So the worker, so, uh, so here what we are looking is we're looking at the surplus from having a worker ready to work at a wage double. So the productivity of the worker, or the worker, the output of the worker in terms of goods or services. So the output from the worker it's the marginal product of labor. You know that having one worker is going to produce NPL for the firm. Okay. Uh, now, at the same time, during the duration of the relationship, the firm has to pay the worker the wage W. Yeah. Okay. So from this, what we infer is that Um, the <coughs> we feel that the firm earns MPL minus W per unit time. Okay, so any week that passes, the firm is able to collect MPL minus W from having that worker, from having signed that worker, and from uh, employing that worker. Okay, so now the question is how long can the firm expect the relationship to last? Well, we know that worker job firm are dissolved at a rate S. So there is a poison process with arrival rate S that destroys uh, jobs. Okay, so that means that at a rate S, the relationship between the worker and the firm is going to be destroyed. What that means is that the expected duration of a, a worker firm a match is 1 over S. Okay. Um, so that means that we can expect a job to last for 1 over S units of time. And so per unit time, the firm earns WPL minus W. The expected duration of a worker firm match is 1 over S. So uh, let me... Right, so the expected surplus the expected surplus from a worker firm match, which we are going to call um, F. F, it's MPL minus W divided by S. Okay, so the idea is that something that's kind of important, maybe I didn't mention. Um, so when we compute a surplus, we have to compare what happened. So this is the value of the worker. The worker is going to deliver MPL minus W for a duration 1 over S. So the value of the worker is MPL minus W over S. But what we are really interested in is the surplus from keeping the worker in this uh, when the negotiation takes place. 
So basically, the firm has to compare keeping that worker and uh, or releasing that worker and posting a new vacancy. So now the key thing is that because firms maximize profits, we know that firms are going to post vacancies until the marginal profit from an extra vacancy is zero. Because you know when they post vacancies, they, they control the size of the firm. And we know that at the optimum, where, where profits are maximized, the size of the firm is just such that having one more worker or one less worker doesn't affect profits. But these workers, the size of the firm, the number of workers that the firm employ are determined by vacancies. So conversely, what we know is that having one vacancy more, one vacancy less has no impact on profits, which also means that the value of a vacancy when we're in this equilibrium is going to be uh, exactly zero. Okay? Because firms have optimized everything they can and so there's just no profits to be made by posting one more vacancy or posting one less vacancy. So when the firm is bargaining with a worker and decide, okay, do I keep that guy or do I kick him out and post a new vacancy to try to get a new worker, they know that the, the return or the expected profit from a vacancy is zero. Okay? But they know that if they keep the worker, they can extract W minus WP minus W over S. Well, what's important here too is that once the job, uh, once the job is terminated, you know, which happens at a rate S, so which happens after a duration, expected duration one over S, firm is back in a situation where they can, you know, decide to post a vacancy or not. But the value of they have the option at that point um, to post a vacancy if they want to, but the you know, the return on a vacancy is zero. So basically, once the job is destroyed, there is no value left um, to be had. Okay, um, so that's that's kind of an important thing. Um, so the firm can either post a vacancy which yields zero profit in expectation, or keep the worker which is going to yield that surplus and P minus W over it. Okay, so that's very important. This is the firm surplus.